all know how good like a boxing champion must feel to pull for someone to call you champ for the for the rest of your life. I felt kind of stuck because I went, I was right here, and Drew had the ball right here. Yeah. Well, so when he come, if you here, when he come, when he dribble off, then just do this. All right. Yeah. And back pick him and then just step. Yeah. Yeah. To be an NBA champion again, uh, there's a sense of, I guess, pride and confidence that comes from it. But then there's also a motivation uh, of wanting to be that again that really starts to take over. I think after a while you start to understand that there's a pretty big target on your back when you wear a purple and gold uniform. There's gonna be some angst and some irritation that goes on, and you need to scrimmage that out so you guys get to the bang on bang feeling about basketball. Not a feeling, Drew. Sure, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's our third year with pretty much the same nucleus. We understand each other even more so. And so now you add Ron into the mix, he has a high basketball IQ. And he just picks up right off of that. I want you to swing the ball. Swing the ball coming down to a boundary. The format is a train. But within that, you can change or adjust and you communicate with each other and do it. That's how he coaches. I know what different guys respond to. We you know how to talk to different guys, how to handle certain situations. So it's just uh, making sure we can continue to move in the right direction. Winning streak continues.